Yo, what is up gamers? My name is Russ. Welcome back to another weekly reset. Uh, I kind of forgot how to do this. It feels really, really weird to be recording again, but a couple updates on me before we get going. I am back. Apologies for last week. There was no episode last week. I've been away at a festival. If you're in the UK, you might know Glastonbury Festival. Maybe even if you're in the EU, you might know Glastonbury Festival. Big festival here in the UK. It's five days long. I didn't have time uh, last Wednesday before I went out. Uh, to make this video so we're actually doing last week's vaults today and then my my plan was kind of to come back and then do another weekly on all my uh, characters to do you know another set of vaults because they stack up and I was going to open two vaults every character sadly I didn't have time to do that yesterday but I did on my main so we do have two vaults on my demon hunter back to back and then we've got all my other characters from the previous week so I think it's six characters in total um so we'll just get going straight through those and i'll just be kind of like chatting about what i've been up to and you know my my state of some of the characters and things like that so let's jump into uh let's start on the rogue let's start on the rogue actually i think this one might not have a vault so i'm just gonna check all right so the rogue was like the one character i didn't have a vault on so we're here on my chamois right now uh this is how my chamois looking i usually play resto so some of you guys will recognize you know where my character she is kind of at uh, we're 275 we got loads and loads of gear on this i haven't really been playing it too much to be honest i haven't really been playing well obviously i said i've been away um how are you guys feeling about season three now like uh it's been long enough out that i think that a lot of people have kind of stopped playing i feel like the group finds a little bit less alive and stuff i know i'm interested uh it, let me know in the comments you know what you what you guys think of the season and are you going to play season four anyway this is uh my chamois um, but yeah, what do we need? What do we need? Uh, I still think that we want the Unbound Changeling at 278, as well as maybe the Ruby. I feel like I've been going after those two for ages now. A long, long time ago on this character, we actually passed up a 278 Salia so Secret Technique, and uh, we took the Divisible Ooze. I wouldn't mind a 278 Technique, I wouldn't mind a 278 Changeling, and a Ruby from Distro Pain. I can't remember how many dungeons I did in this character last time I, I played. Um, but yeah, other than that, we're, we're pretty stacked out. We could do with a cloak, um, maybe to chuck in the catalyst. I believe it's good stats from there. And uh, a 278 gloves as well, maybe to chuck in the catalyst just to get some eye levels. But other than that, like our, our gear's looking pretty sweet. So I'm just going to open it up in elemental spec so I have a chance at those DPS trinkets that I'm after. Let's see what we get. I don't know how many slots we got. Uh, a helm. <clears throat> okay one helm one helm do i have another helm actually oh i do have a tier helm okay i have a tier helm so i guess that's for when i've been playing elemental a little bit and changing around some stuff mm, do i have any socket tokens in my bag token 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 <clears throat> no okay uh oh i think i'm just gonna take this because it's only two it's only two tokens that's really really pointless to take so i'm going to take this just so i have a two seven helm for when i do want to change out my tier pieces kind of kind of bad and uh this is how you know if you've got a stacked out revolt by the way um or if it's just an old vault so then sometimes you can go ahead and open it again and uh you have another vault behind it which is what we're going to do on the demon hunter in a bit so we got a we got an off piece i guess for this which isn't too bad because i can just throw it in the catalyst i got enough flux to do so um, so we'll jump onto the Warlock and see what we got there. Okay, so here's how the Warlock's looking. Again, I'm probably not going to be able to remember how many slots I got in the vault on every single one of these characters. I have a feeling this one might be four because I was playing quite a bit of Warlock before I went away. Um, gear's pretty good. I got sh tons of haste. We got, we got 1,200 haste here, which is really, really nice. I think I need a little bit more mastery for single target though. So I wouldn't mind um, any kind of mastery piece on one of these off pieces, really. Um, I got some legs to upgrade as well. Uh, I think in my bag, actually, I have some 278. So I'm saving up some flux. I'm almost at the right amount of flux to, to convert those legs. And we get a couple more eye levels there. So that'll be great. Um, maybe a neck or something with mastery or a piece of jewelry with mastery would be great. Um, in fact, I, I've even got some mastery heavy uh, things here, but they only go up to 272. Um, so I'm not really sure what I'm feeling on the Warlock. Maybe some gloves, because it looks like we got legs ready. We got boots. I could We could use some more boots. Uh, so boots, legs, and then again, trinkets. 
the good trinkets like um, Changeling, Salias is good. Uh, stat 6 seem to be pretty good on Warlocks. Um, but the Ruby, I believe, is also still quite good. And uh, Warlocks are getting nerfed pretty soon as well, or hopefully. I, I guess they got delayed, didn't they? So I have even less reason to play Warlock now because personally, I, don't, I, I still don't really find it very fun uh, to play Warlocks. Um, they're so insane. They do so much damage, but I don't really find it fun. And that really puts me off like putting in the time and effort to actually learn the spec. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this one up and see what we get. Again, we want uh, trinkets, basically. Trinkets would be great. So we got shoulders, which I believe I already have 278 with avoidance. So we will go with the tokens here. Uh, because that is completely useless to us. There's no way that we really want these. They're versatility and mastery. Don't think they're good for any spec, to be honest. Um, and what do you guys think about the uh, affliction buffs? Like the nerfing destruction AoE, buffing destruction single target, and then the buffing affliction, which I feel like was behind a little bit, but last season, if you played season two, that was a really insane spec in Mythic Plus for um, for affliction with the so the seas where you just spam seas of corruption all day long. Right now we're getting to the more hype vaults. I have been playing a lot of Blood Decay. I really really like Blood Decay. It's really fun. Um, it's my favorite kind of tank ever. You know, tanking with a two handed sword. There's just something about that that for me you just can't beat. I I really do enjoy Vengeance Demon Hunter as well. I sometimes tank here and there on my main, but I've tanked like. 18s and stuff on this character and it's like 250 eye level i think it's like 250 i actually can't remember it might be like 262 now or something but the gear on it is not great but i did so many 15s on it because i was just enjoying playing it trying to gear up and stuff uh excuse the crying uh i was just trying to gear up and stuff let's see what we are 259 so i crafted up my legendaries i made my four piece here um and now i'm obviously you know pretty pretty decked out i think let me see what kind of keys I've tanked in it. Like, I've done a plus 20 in time <laughs> tanking. 18s, some 16s and stuff. And his character's 259. Uh, I don't know, man. Blood DK is so fun. So, so fun. So, I'm really, really hyped about this one. I feel like I, I feel like last reset that I did keys, I did, like, at least uh, 8 of the plus 15. So, I think we have 3 slots. Um, what are we looking for? Probably... Um, probably a weapon or trinkets i would love to have the trinket from streets um i would love to have the overwhelming power crystal as well um but i think i want to prior the tank trinkets like streets one and stuff like that uh trinkets are definitely on the weak side there's a ring here you know a lot of my gear is uh, i'm basically just waiting for valor to go and upgrade it all so you can see that some of my stuff is like 278 two, sorry 268 272 i've been using my valor as i, as I get it but I still do need um, enough valor to just slowly pump everything up over time. And I definitely don't want to spend like, you know, I think a 200 takes like 500 or 1,000 valor every upgrade. So I'm not going to farm 11,000 valor to upgrade this one. So I would love a 278 weapon or a 278 tank trinket. Anything else than that is probably still an upgrade, like a tier piece or something like that that I can throw in the cast. This would be great. But um, those are my two like prior slots, trinkets and weapon. So let's just open this one up. I'm going to open it in tank spec to potentially get like the streets trinket or something that would be great what do we go with oh okay that's the first tier piece i've actually got in a vault for like three months i don't know about you guys but i just have never seen tier pieces in my vault since like the beginning of the season i don't know if they, they like lowered the chance on it after people started completing their sets or it works off like an algorithm with how many pieces you have or something but I, this is like the first one I've seen on any character. And I've been, bearing in mind, I've been opening like five, six volts a week um, with multiple slots. And this is like the first one I've seen in like at least a month, maybe two. Anyway, we got a leech trinket. I don't think mastery is very good. I don't think I want crit. This chest is looking pretty tasty though. Um, this is, they could go to a two, seven. Wait, I think I put my, I put my unity on my chest and I, of course I did. Of course I did. Okay, so... Maybe not the unity on the chest. I could always change that, I guess. Um, <laughs> and the belt also I can't use. Maybe... God. Am I a dumbass or what? Maybe I take the chest and I move the unity to the helm. Or maybe to the... Uh, gloves? I could move the unity to the gloves or something. Because uh, I want haste verse, right? And, and the helm... The tear helm already has haste verse on it. So... 
Uh, same with the shoulders. I think the chest didn't, that's why I put it on the chest. And because it's a big ticket item, you know, it's like a, a lot of stats on that one. Uh, I could chuck it on the legs, I guess. Uh, that one still has haste on it. Um, or I could just put it on the gloves or something. Or even a ring, honestly, just to have like some rings. Hmm. I don't know really what to go with here. Uh, this feels like an awkward one, for sure. Like, none of these, none of these items seem good. And I definitely want to keep my other legendary on the belt. Let me just double check. Where can this go? Shoulders, waist, or hands? So, shoulders and hands, obviously I can't because tear piece. Uh, yeah, I have to keep that one on the belt. So, I can really use... I can move my unity around or I can go with a socket. I mean, this chest does still have haste on it. I could just use this chest as is without turning it into a tear piece and put the unity on something else. And not change tear piece out that could work um so i could put the unity on something like my braces or you know my boots my boots are pretty weak but i really don't want to have to spend money like recrafting legendaries because it takes so much gold and i just can't be bothered to do that for like my eighth alt so mm -hmm. this is really uh this is really a pickle i think i'm just gonna take the chest because it's the best out of these and just see what i do with it later I get six tokens as a socket. Like, I don't really need a socket right now. Uh, I think that I can do more potential things with the chest. So if I feel like it, then uh, there's more room to play with it there. So I think I'm just going to take the chest and just uh, maybe decide later down the line. Maybe I do change the unity to, like, my boots or something. Um, okay. All right. That's, that's fine. It's a decent enough pickup. Playful 19 will be fun as well. It's a decent enough pickup, but it's definitely... <laughs> Like the one slot I didn't want so I could catalyst it, but it is what it is. You can't win them all. All right, let's jump onto the monk. I believe I do have a weekly on the monk done. Uh, this one is getting like one key a week on it right now. Still not a huge fan of Windwalker. Um, I wonder if they're going to touch it for season four as well. Like I'm hoping that they touch, you know, Warlock, Hunters, and maybe Monks. It's, it's kind of weird because Monks just got buffed, but... They did like the aura buffs on monks and then they did all the single target buffs when originally they probably only needed the single target buffs so they could like take back the aura buff now and monks would probably be like still really really good like they could undo the old aura buffs they did and just keep all the single target buffs in place and i'm pretty sure monk would still be really really strong so let's just run over to the vault here uh, my monk is currently looking pretty shoddy not gonna lie uh we've got a secret technique at 278 with leech though so that's pretty cool uh, things I'm looking for is probably uh, a two-hander preferably. Um, if not, then I already have a 278 one-hander, so then we can double up. Uh, I've still got to do the old like legendary upgrades, but again, gold and it's like my fifth ult or something. So yeah, I've got my two-piece tier on it. I think I might have some flux here. So I have enough flux to make a, th a third tier piece, but not quite a fourth. So here we're going to go with uh, looking for a weapon or maybe a trinket like a vial or I think an, a uh, IQD is really good as well. Um, so we'll just see what we can go with here. I'm going to open it in Windwalker spec and uh, any other off-piece tier piece would be great as well. So we got a ring and I believe that's haste verse. Haste verse ring, haste verse ring. Um, okay, well I mean that must be good because I've put haste verse on my unity. So that's probably actually a really good pickup. <laughs> Uh, good. Then I guess we got two haste verse uh, rings, and that's nice. I'm gonna just gonna chuck that one in there. All right, nice. So, I they must be good stats because I've put it on all my legendaries. So, yeah, I can't even remember the monk stats breakdown, but that must be quite good. So we get a good pickup on the monk, and now we got two vaults on the demon hunter to just speed run back to back. And the basically one item that we're looking for in the DH is the vial of purification. It's like my final item that I can get from Mythic Plus for Havoc, which would be like considered BIS. I've got everything else that I need really. All my other gear just comes from the raid. So let's just see if we can we can get that. We got two chances at that one. So here's how the gear's looking. As I said, I've got pretty much everything. We could use a 278 cloak to be fair, but there's a better one in the raid. Um gloves wise, there's there's gloves in the raid that we want to get. Um and then we can put the unity onto this ring here and free up that uh crafted slot everything else uh, is already 278 we're, we're looking for a 278 weapon from the raid as well then we'll put the pog storm in the offhand so the file is like the only slot that we're really gonna keep 
um, from from the items we have. So that's like the only thing we're looking for. We've got two chances to get it, but I don't. I didn't fill like all three slots both times, so we got a, a couple like reduced chances. But let's just speed run it and go. It's kind of cool because like, what if we get it in the first one? Then then we can change the vault for the second one, right? We did not get it in the first one, so. Yeah, I don't want that trinket, so I'm just going to take these. <laughs> That's kind of good, though, because that brings me up to 12 tokens. So now we go take two, boys. Okay, this one gave me a 25 theater. So we got another. We got another to go. And let's just go take two. Take two. File. I don't know how many slots I got on this. No way, dude. What? I wonder what the fucking chances of that happening is, man. I wonder what the chances of hap that happening is. Uh, how many items are in the loot table? How many items in the loot table that you could possibly get in the vaults, right? That must be such a small percentage. I'm, I'm actually going to work that out. Give me just two seconds. Right, so I've just counted up every single item in every dungeon on my loot table for Havoc, and there's 79 possible items. So that was a 1 in 79 chance to get any particular item, right? I just got the same item twice in a row. So if I bring up my calculator, one uh, out of 79, that's the chance to get any item. So that's 1.26%. And then a few times that by itself. All right, this calculator was really, really hard to read, but Google says it's 0 0.00016, which I think is 0.016%, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. So... 0.016%, which is kind of crazy. That's like that's like rarer than a lot of mounts. For that to happen, for it to go for the same item back to back, that is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. I actually can't believe that's happened. That is a complete mistake. I thought I was tripping for a second. Uh, That was like some serious fucking... I don't know, man. That's crazy. That is crazy. I can't believe that. All right, well, I'm not going to take that either. You know what? Maybe it's a sign. Maybe if I take this now, I, uh, I can't get it again. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take it. Hopefully the game knows I have it and it wants to stop giving it to me now. Okay, so I'm going to take it, Blizzard. You've won. Okay, you've won. Uh, I actually also did that because I already have 12 tokens. So. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. That is crazy. What a crazy ending, man. Okay, um, yeah, that's my that's my weekly vault opening for this week. I'll be back next week with another full set of stuff and I might even, you know, start playing another character. Who knows? I might, I might drop one of them. I might drop one of the characters like the monk or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe pick up the shadow priest because I really do enjoy shadow priest. So I might drop something. I might not. We'll see. But I'll see you back here next week. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Sorry for being AFK. Videos will resume now and streams will also be resuming now. I'm back home. Although I do think I might have COVID. So um, hopefully you see you guys over on the stream. It should be floating above my head. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. And as always, peace.